Hello everybody and welcome to our first official devlog for the channel. My name is Mark, I'm a student double majoring in computer science and linguistics at New York University with a minor in game design and I have decided that I'm gonna officially start a devlog to keep myself accountable and a community of accountability around this idea of working on hobbyist projects. To know how that idea came about you can watch part one, it also has some more details about this. The plan for today's devlog is quickly going over what infrastructure I have set up for my game, the structure I have to make sure I work on this to keep track of all of the updates. And right now, because this is all new to me, which I'll say like 15 times in this video, I'm going to be working towards an initial game pitch and or prototype. I'm taking a class over the next three or so weeks of January. It's called intro to game design required for my minor. We're going to be creating all sorts of different game pitches. And I just got an email last night. So I'm going to cut to a quick clip of that where I recorded some of my thoughts and how I might direct this devlog for now. All right, bad lighting mark back again. Before we get into the devlog or the main stuff, I'm cutting back to this. We just got an email for it and I'm hyped because uh, there's six of, uh, there's four out of the normal eight projects because it's a really short class. The reason why I mentioned it in this devlog is because I think it's gonna come up a lot. From what it looks like, 15% of our grade is based on a six to eight minute presentation of our own game pitch. You see where this is going? I'm working on the resources for Seashell and I've been curious on where the direction of these devlogs should go because it's like, what do I just make art? Do I just update you on the game dev courses that I'm, you know, working on? Do I I work on a pitch for this first month. The only really game design course I've taken, I've taken Games 101, which is like Art History 101 at NYU for games. And I've taken the Will Wright game design class on Masterclass. But this is a really good direction for the devlog because if I can work on this pitch over the course of January, make it a part of the devlog, make it part of my club. I'm, I'm very big on combining multiple things to get, you know, kill two birds with one stone, right? So that being said, I think this is where I'm gonna take the devlog. All in all, I think my initial direction for Seashell this month and the next few months will be working on a prototype that I can pitch. We're working on making different aspects of the game that I can pitch. Class is going to be pretty intense, but I'm excited to make it a now, part of this. I'm kind of doing this whole game full stack. In other words, I'm doing everything myself, or at least for now, seeking to do so. I'm very bad, but I know my way around Blender. I know my way around code fairly well. I'm going to be using Unreal Engine for the game because I want to work on my C++ skills, specifically in the Unreal environment. I'm going to be working on flushing out the story, narrative, and art for this first month and a half while working on an Unreal development course that I have online. The reason I'm not using Unity is because I want to work on my C++ skills. And real quick, we're going to cut to one more clip of what the Unreal course is and what I've done so far in the past, you know, couple of days. What up, devlog? So I don't know when I'm going to put this in the video, but we're going to have some horrible lighting because my, my head's blocking the lamp here and there's no lighting behind the camera. This was last minute recording. Anyway, I am currently doing some very intro level Unreal courses. It's by uh, gamedev.tv. I used their Blender course to learn Blender a while ago. I, I love the course and it's the same guy who does this one, at least now. I just made the cows. I can I can move around and uh yeah. <laughs> So I haven't actually been making anything, but we're gonna be using Unreal for Seashell and I'm looking forward to learning more. And I will back to the main part of the video, I guess. I love online courses, but I'm a really big proponent of just jumping into things. So when I feel like I have enough material for the game, in other words, I have some models to import into Unreal and I don't feel like Unreal is this black void of stuff I don't know, I'm gonna be jumping into and creating the game. That's probably not gonna happen for a little bit, but these updates week by week are gonna be something I wanna look back on. And I hope there's something you can look back on too. Stay tuned for how you can get involved. So as for the structure of these devlogs, I'm going to essentially be going over what I have gotten done and what I plan to do for the next devlog update. So therefore I can match my, my small time goals with my, with what I actually got done. And over time, I'm going to incorporate friends into this. I need to work on reaching out to them, but also I need to be able to say, yeah, this is concretely what's going to happen. For example, if a friend is comfortable doing so, maybe they'll record their day in the life and we'll have a 50, 50, me and them, me working on the game, my friend Zaf working on his note taking app. This video is going to be pretty standard. I'm going to about to jump into Trello and Notion and what I'm going to do, but in the future, I'd love to do a more creative style of devlogs. I think the first thing I'm going to start doing is day in the life. So if I have a whole day planned out for things or just record myself over two or three days, sort of like Dev Duck on YouTube or uh, Equilinox's developer, I'm unfortunately forgetting, forgetting their name right now. But those kind of day in the life videos are probably what I'm going to do most of the time, as well as these just bland updates on what I've gotten done. But I also want to eventually go all out like um, a YouTuber called Danny. You can check the info card in the top right corner for a link to his channel. He does really cool stuff 
releases videos every month or so, but they're full on and they go really in depth into these projects. And I'd love to do a combined day in the life, what I'm working on as well as commentary, all that fun stuff. However, that's for the future. I need to get used to this whole system and kind of build the rhythm for myself. So I'm a big proponent of using productivity apps in a way that they help you. Over the past 15 or so months, I would say that I've devised a system that really works for me using my calendar, Todoist, Trello, and Notion. For Seashell, we'll be part of just, you know, incorporating tasks into my daily to-do list. But if we go over here into Trello, really? Did I really need to sing that? Um, I'm calling my development thing, Dendro by development. This is an app idea from a while ago. This is Seashell. This is a board I made a while back and I'm very, very proud of it. I think it's something worth going over because this is probably going to change a lot over time. Very briefly, I have resources and exercises. The Udemy lectures, the Unreal course, Udemy, these are Unity lectures. Um, CDQ, Character Design Quarterly is a magazine I found in Paris. I love them so much and they give me a lot of artistic inspiration. Animation practice, just exercises that don't contribute towards the game itself, but get me better at things. We have current release tasks, V0.0.0. I use major, minor, bugs. I believe that's what it's called. I don't know why I have a fourth number on here. I'm probably going to phase that out. I outlined these basic tasks. And if we look at board navigation here, you can see I went, I went full out. So we have all of these different labels. So narrative element, design element, auditory element, visual element, and prototype implement, uh, and then meta label. So learning information and practice. So for the current release task, we have a visual element, the main menu, some concept art, design element. These are some inspirations. When my friend first came up with the idea, how we kind of described the, the main little girl character to me was sort of those Pixar characters like baby Moana, with the big eyes and stuff. First floor overhead sketches, first floor environment model, a very simple checklist here. You can see I made these a long time ago. I started this board when the Creative Council friends and I started this whole thing and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this done and then I never did anything else. But anyway, <laughs> it's here now. These are the first things I kind of need. So this is my quick calendar for what my second semester looks like. So Monday through Friday, pretty stacked. Purple is my classes and stuff, but you can see I have Seashell every other morning. So Tuesday, Thursday, and then all the devlog work on Friday and hopefully a lot of Seashell development work on Friday. Friday. And I hope to also get a lot more done on Saturday. But that being said, when I do sit down for one of these sessions, I will drag, you know, okay, the current sprint, I'm going to be working on the main menu, drawing that out and overhead sketches. I do need to specify these a little bit. You know, will this be done in Unreal? Because there will be multiple main menus. I want to sketch a main menu. I want to make one in Unreal. But like also if I'm in a week and I think, you know, okay, main menu and girl concept art. And then today I think, okay, this is going to, I'm just going to sit down and draw for an hour and a half. That's what this is for. This might sound like I'm making very little progress each week. That's the goal. Small progress builds strong habits. And and so later the hard work, the longer work becomes easier, dare I say. So we have test and review. So if we have, you know, a final prototype or just a model that I want input in, I might reach out to my friend who came up with the script that I have on my cork board back there. All in all, test and include written script. This is the initial script that everything is based off of. I don't want to share that. Trashed tasks. I might scrap something and it's going to be hard to do, but whatever. Would love to do. This is like stretch goal sort of things. Um, I'm actually going to move this, oops, not there. Postponed and back burner lists I get really afraid of, but the idea is going to be to have this and move into, you know, something else. So, so yeah, that's my Trello setup. I rely a lot on structure. That's just who I am. If you look at my calendar here, I'm not going to be sticking to this strictly. I just need to know that I have time set aside for personal time. Very, very important. Um, I have time set aside to work on the, my videos, so time set aside to work on the game. Anyway, that's the Trello board. And next up we use Notion. So Notion is a quote unquote all-in-one productivity app. I'm not sponsored or associated with anyone, by the way. So we click on this and we get a prototype page. This is under the version versions list. So I, every time I can just make a new version here, open it up and we'll have boom phase. And then planning and organization level zone. Zone one is an island. The premise of the game, I'll explain the premise of the game later, or I'll just explain it as I go along because I'm very guarded of this idea, <laughs> which is, you know, for better or for worse. A link back to the Trello board because these things are incorporated with each other. What remains of Edith Finch? This is a bunch of stuff that I wrote out after I finished playing Edith Finch because that's when I was like, huh, what if I made Seashell a walking simulator? These are, you know, this is one level, this is another level, and I'm going to just incorporate them into levels over time. So the last thing is prototype 0000, the description, the plan. So we'll have a main menu, we'll have the environment. At the start, these models are going to be explicitly crappy because I don't want to spend too much time on making them quote unquote perfect. Resources, <laughs> what resources don't I need? So yeah, that's my Notion page. I'm going to actually keep using it because I do like the setup of it, but I'll be using it with Trello. Notion is really complicated and I've been phasing it out, but for something that requires so many levels of intricacy, like a big product that's a game, I think it's super important. But yeah, that's what I've gotten done. 
and that is what I aim to do. For next week, I want to flesh out this level one zone, be able to pitch this level one zone to you. I just made up that goal, but I think it sounds kind of good. That's what's great about recording videos. You just kind of say things and you're like, oh, what do you know? Just want to jump to the community shout out portion of this video. Before. These are all the comments I got on the first devlog. If you want to drop some more comments, now would be a fantastic time. What are your goals for next week? What are your goals in the long run? If you buy into New Year's resolutions, what are your New Year's resolutions? I want to focus this community. I want to help foster around hobbyist projects, but if it's academics or something like that, that is totally a valid goal as well. Even if it's just a few comments, it's more than I would have ever imagined a few months ago. So the plan, the plan is to for Seashell get this level one zone worked out. I want to get rid of the fear of working on it because it's the fear of the unknown. Now jumping into Notion really quick, I do run a Minecraft server and one of the things I do is develop plugins and I'm working on this plugin called Build My Thing. It's essentially Scribblio, but in Minecraft. And this is my, I guess you could call it a small game design document. There's a bunch of stuff here and I'm going to be live streaming the development of this. It's in Java from 9 to 11 a.m. as you can see in my calendar here every day from Monday through Saturday. The goal is to have alpha and ready to test by the 11th. But yeah, I'll be streaming that over on twitch.tv slash bite kangaroo, B-Y-T-E kangaroo link in the description down below. So definitely don't subscribe. <laughs> definitely follow me over there if you want to join me during these development streams. This is Eastern Standard Time, by the way. So the main goals for Seashell. I'm going to be going through the Unreal course. I'm aiming to finish the Bulls and Cows series. I'll probably be doing it in the evening. I can't stream it because again, it's not my material. I'll be working on the narrative aspects of the first level, the first zone, which is the island. I'm thinking for each zone of the game, there's a unique character and a unique mechanic and a unique micro plot line, as I'll call it. Also, in terms of drawing skills, this is inspired by Eric Brown, creator of Stardew Valley. He said that he just drew the characters over and over and eventually got really good at drawing pixel art and stuff. And that's my goal too. My drawing skills kind of suck right now. If I put in some effort, I'm sure I can get better. I'll be working on drawings and sketches and they'll be really bad. And I will show you my really bad drawings, but you gotta show me yours too, okay? In next week's dev vlogs, that's what you'll get. Zone one details, what I've learned in the Unreal course and what the Bulls and Cows version of my game is looking like. Maybe some sketches, hopefully some sketches, a game design document from Seashell, and a little bit about my class. It's intro to game design, so it fits with the dev vlog. I'll show you guys more of the prototype plan and all in all, just should be a little bit more fleshed out. So yeah, speaking of goals, I will hopefully become much more concrete with them as time goes on. Again, small habits make strong habits. So don't forget to comment on what you're working on as well. What are you gonna kick off the year with if you're a college student like me, what are you ending your winter break with? If you're a high school student, a middle school student, whatever you're working on, let me know down below if you're working, what are you doing outside your day job that inspires you? This is all just jumping into water for me. And I figured if I don't jump in, you know, head first in, I'm just not going to get it done. So I'm committing. These devlogs are my commitment to you and to myself. And I hope that you join me on this journey. So along with that comment, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all future updates. Hit like if you did enjoy the devlog and you like what I'm doing here. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you join me in this new year adventure. Time may be arbitrary, but but our goals are not. Anyway, don't forget to stay awesome and I will see you next week.